welcome back to my channel my name is Jess also known as the fat funny one and it is Christmas Eve wow I can't believe the year has <laughs> so me and the girls are gonna show you how we make our seafood boil now we are obsessed with seafood boils aren't we and, and the, the turkey's for tomorrow but it's the seafood for today the crab isn't it and the prawns all the things that we make the seasoning anyway seafood boards predominantly are just uh, particularly on youtube always seem to be from the us youtubers very rarely see uh, uk ones we go to so many seafood board restaurants and uh, we've been to fat crab in the uk we've been to like all of their venues we go to or we've been to one in vegas new york like we literally are obsessed so it is about time that we did one and recorded it we normally have one every christmas eve um but don't always record the process and so many of you particularly on instagram are like show us how you make it now just a quick caveat there is no wrong or right way to do this because it's to your preference what you like to eat the taste the spice all of that stuff what i will say is we're heavily influenced by like b loves we love 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 watching her a lot of the seasons and stuff we ended up getting from amazon because they are um only available in america and they're just not available here in the uk so a lot of what we ordered was from there but most of it is from here other thing is king crab and snow crab is just not available in the uk like it is in the us but my local fishmonger, I gave them a call and they managed to source some for me. The only other place you can go, which is like the, the most famous fish place in the UK, is probably Billingsgate Market. But it's like a 4am start and it tends to be where like traders tend to go. But you can shop there as just like a member of the public. We just couldn't do the 4am start. So a call to the fishmonger, he managed to source some king crab for us. And then we've got quite a bit else so i'll show you what we've got i'll show you what we need or the equipment and stuff that we need and then i'll show you how we make it and yeah let's get into it crab. <laughs> there's crab there's crab yeah and there's all things this is garlic huh this is garlic and this is this better seasoning shop um oh what's this called <laughs> right, let me let me show them the seafood right. first. Chopped. Right, so just to show you the seafood that we've got. So we've got. Oh, it's so spiky. The it's like if a cactus and a crab had a baby. Yeah, they'd have a king crab. So we've got some king crab legs. This they are humongous. We've got some smoked sausage. Um, here loads and loads of prawns. These are like humongous. Mussels are cheated and we tend to buy them like this, like ready-made, but we will add our own sauce and stuff. And then in here, we've got absolutely loads. So we've got some lobsters and then lobster tails. I think there's some scallops in here somewhere. Uh, what's this? Some jumbo king prawns, corn on the cob, some red potatoes. Mm. These are the best ones to use. And then all of the seasonings. We've got some, what's that? Garlic some garlic yeah some hot sauce that's completely optional and this is this is sophia's favorite what is this one slap your mama <laughs> this is ch chili pepper it's got chili pepper slap your mama this is one of the ones that is uh, predominantly in the u.s and we had to order online and they're my favorite yes. we've got some crawfish shrimp crab boil in a bag seasoning oh. some smoked paprika uh this stuff which is amazing from is it batia lemon pepper crushed chilies again optional mm. depending on how spicy you like it some onion granules some garlic powder old bay good old old bay and some mixed what are these herbs <laughs> and some herbs so oh and brown sugar brown sugar to make the sauce as well so we've got quite a lot going on so i will show you the equipment that you need first and foremost you need a humongous pan now we got this one from costco and it is a 15 liter i don't think the king crab's actually gonna fit in here um without being broken up because it's actually it's huge but i don't think it's as big um it's not stained by the way it's just wet because i just washed this and left it there oil trays um it's really good for um cleaning stuff so once you cook everything you can stack it all up on there pour your sauce on and then just eat some these and then the other thing which i'll link below is the equipment to actually use on your your lobsters and stuff so i've got some 
I don't even know, nutcrackers, I think. And like the pick things. That is basically everything. The first thing I'm going to do is fill up that massive pot of water, get it on the boil, um, and then we'll start adding things in gradually. And then what we will do... Oh, lemons. Where's the lemons? I forgot the lemons. Can you grab the lemons out of the fridge? I forgot the lemons. Lemons are a massive part of this as well. I'm going to get my pot of water on and then show you how we season that and get that going. So one of the first things you are going to do is slice up a whole bunch of lemons. Now I probably used about five. Um, I use them for a few different things. I use them for the actual boil but I also use them when we are eating like to just squeeze onto some of your seafood and have them as dressing if you're dressing your plates and stuff. So the ends of the lemon I normally squeeze into the water or keep for us to squeeze onto food and the slices I pop into the pot like this so the pot isn't at a boil just yet as you can see but I put them in when it's kind of lukewarm and let them simmer to when it gets to a boil and then it just I don't know it makes me feel like it tastes better who knows the next thing I do is I grab this so this is a bag of seasoning inside so you just put this whole bag into the water and kind of all the flavors seep out but looking at the instructions i realized i probably should have got two bags and i only got the one so obviously the water's not hot hence why my hands in it it is pretty hot but not boiling i also chucked in a couple of bay leaves and then i will leave this pot to boil and while it's boiling i will prep some of the other stuff so the first thing is the potatoes so i chop them roughly into quarters about this size red potatoes tend to work the best they're kind of really buttery so they're always the nicest so i will wash them prep them and then get them in first because they take the longest to boil once i've done this i start moving on to prepping my sauce now when it comes to measurements honestly i don't know i just go until i feel like i should stop but roughly it's probably a couple of teaspoons of each so onion granules and lemon pepper i use this like kids ice cream scoop i don't even know and then some smoked paprika again i'm using roughly two each but it also depends on your portion sizes i'm making quite a bit of sauce some slap your mum occasion seasoning i love this i got this from amazon i will link everything below as well some old bay seasoning uh, which is just like a staple you should everyone should have in the house some mixed herbs which again I just I can't even tell you the measurements just go until your gut tells you to stop and then some granulated uh, like powdered garlic which again I use quite a bit of now I use some brown sugar as well I use this light brown sugar to cut a lot of the kind of acidy salty taste that you'll get from a lot of the seasonings and this is kind of them all together once I've done this I will melt some butter I use this willow stuff it's literally just from the supermarket and I use two of them and I melt that down in the pan once I've done this I will use a jar of lazy garlic but as you can see it's got vinegar in it and that will kind of add a, a bit of a weird taste so I drain that and then just pour the pure garlic with no vinegar in into the melted butter once that's done I then add the seasoning as well give it a stir and kind of leave it to simmer so I'm adding everything in and then I literally just slowly stir it again i can't tell you like the temperature we've got like this electric hob thing which i hate i can't tell you how much i hate it and i just use it on kind of a medium heat um and i will just keep stirring it it will be quite lumpy and stuff but that's just as everything i guess melts down then i go back into this i've added a bit of seasoning in here as well but as you can see the bag is kind of seeping out and everything's come to a bit of a boil the water is a bit of a funny color but that's just all the seasoning and stuff so don't worry about that so the first thing first i'm adding the potato i try and add things in order of length of time to cook so the potatoes tend to go first and then things like prawns and sweet corn will go right at the very end while that's boiling I start to prep my prawns now these were kind of pre-prepped but not all of them were so as you can see this one's got like that weird I don't know prawn poo in the back of it so just grab a fork pull it out it's really simple and just clean them so I just did a double check because they weren't all as clean as they should have been and um, so yeah I did that gave them a bit of a wash and then got them ready to go in later 
Now on to prep the king crab claws. So these are humongous. I've used a tea towel on one hand to help pull them apart because they were so spiky, but I've pulled them away from being clusters for a couple of reasons. One, because we're sharing them. Two, because it's easier to cook and a bit quicker because they they all fit a bit easier. And three, yeah, because they're gonna fit into the pot. So this is what I'm doing. So I broke them up into clusters, gave them a good wash. Now they're already pink, so they're already cooked and they were frozen. So I'm really just putting them in the pot to cook through and marinate in the sauce versus cook from scratch, if that makes sense. Once that's all prepped, I kind of lay everything out in order of what it needs to go into the pot. I basically just start putting them in one by one. So I do a quick check on the potatoes just to see where they are at. Um, they're pretty soft at this point, so I start adding everything else in. So the first things up are the lobsters. Now again, these are already pre-cooked, but it's just because of the size of them, I'm putting them in for the longest to cook through. These were cooked, but the lobster tails weren't, but because they were kind of already open, uh, they were, won't really take much time and they're obviously much smaller. So I start piling everything in. I realized at this point that my pot was huge, but still wasn't huge enough. But anyway, I leave them to boil for a little bit and to cook through and then we'll just keep coming back to check. Now again, I'm probably the worst person to do like any sort of food tutorial because I don't measure anything, I don't time anything, I'm awful, but basically I probably leave them in there for about six or seven minutes um, in total. So a few minutes of lobsters, then add the king crab in and then leave them in total for probably about five to 10 minutes because again, you're just heating them through and cooking them in that kind of marinated water versus cooking them from raw so they don't need too much time. Also with seafood, if you overcook it, it can be quite chewy and a bit tough. So getting the balance right is really important, but obviously check the instructions on any of the seafood that you buy, and it obviously make a difference if you're cooking them from raw versus cooking them from defrosted but pre-cooked already. Once this is all cooked, I literally pull them out and pop them into the big metal trays that I've got. The sauce has been on a really, really low simmer this whole time. If you take it off the heat and let it cool, it will start to thicken and it'll go back to like a butter-like texture and you don't want that. So keep it really, really low heat just to keep it melted and keep it going. So the only thing I've got left to cook now are the prawns. So I've taken out the lobster and the crab and the potatoes. And then I'm just gonna chuck in the prawns, the sausage and the king, not the king, the corn on the cob. Now these all take a couple of minutes, corn on the cob, the sausage literally just needs to warm through because it's already cooked and the prawns prawns you definitely don't want to overcook and the corn on the cob if you leave it for ages it just goes super super tough so these in total probably take about three to five minutes again just depending on the portion size but it won't take long at all basically know that everything's cooked because the prawns have gone completely pink so I start taking everything out and pop it all into these trays. Now with the sauce it is quite thick at the bottom and runny at the top and the thickness at the bottom is basically that thick garlic. I think I put a bit of onion in there in the end as well. So I put this on one tray because it was quite spicy and the kids wouldn't have that and then just did a plain melted butter on the other tray. And that is basically it. I really hope that was helpful. I know it was awful with like no measurements or timings or heat, but I genuinely don't know how to cook like that. So this is just how we do it. Again, there's no right or wrong, make it perfect for you, but it definitely is like just the best meal ever. So I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching, bye.